We're going to make this really hard on them. Um, I don't have anything prepared. I never do. But I do want to, uh, I want to uh, introduce you to Bethany, who's on the Sean and Richie show with me every morning, and Lou Roberts, who does afternoons uh, on GNA. There's plenty of other people who are not here who have participated through the years in this. And uh, it's just weird when, when they said they wanted to honor us. I, I didn't know how I felt about it because we're honored to do it. If you've ever been to St. Jude, uh, it only takes one trip and you will support them for the rest of your life. And I couldn't think of any organization or hospital or any charity that I'd rather do this for. It's, it's really like a utopia. If there is a utopia in the world, it's St. Jude. And so I thought about it and I said, well, it's kind of silly for them to honor us, you know? But it's hard work, it is. And we do take it very seriously and it's very important to us. My wife will tell you, I come home exhausted every day and I get mad if we didn't get a certain amount of money. And it's, it's hard to ask people to separate themselves from their money. It truly is today's society. Um, it's not something we take lightly, but like I said, if you go down there and you see the amazing things that are happening and you know uh, the advancements that are happening and you see an eight-year-old child who says to you, you know, when I get cured, if I get cured, I want to work at St. Jude. I want to grow up and be a nurse or I want to be a doctor. And if I die, I'll know that everything I did here will help the next kid. Those are the real soldiers. Those are the warriors. Those kids are amazing. And there's really no reason to not do everything you can to help them. So again, we're honored to be part of it and fighting that war with all of you and those little kids, and I thank you.